Governor Sumundu exposed as evidence of him purchasing rechargeable funds with 2 billion naira and 18 million naira for checking services online. Oh boy. He bought rechargeable funds with 2 billion naira and then bought check-ins for 18 million naira. What for? Ah, now wow. This is serious. Let's dive into the details and see what actually happened and how come he went to buy those items with such whooping amount. For sure, Dorothy, the Action Democratic Congress governorship candidate in Lagos State, has addressed an open letter to Lagos State Governor Babajide Sowonlu about projects sponsored with taxpayers' uh, money. In the letter, Dorothy examined the Lagos government's roster of public procurement awards for the second and third quarter of 2023. And according to Dorothy, the time under consideration ran from April to September. In the open letter, Dorothy listed some projects awarded by the state government that require greater scrutiny. He wrote, I just wrote an open letter to the governor on public procurement awards reported by Lagos State Government for the second and third quarters of 2023, highlighting a number of issues for further scrutiny and remedial action. Judicious use of public funds is always important and is especially so now. So in the letter, he cited that 18 million 468,000 naira was awarded to the Office of the Chief of Staff for the supply and distribution of 2,000 Noila Okebrela chicken across the local government area and wards in the state. Hmm. Then another sum of 440,750,000 naira was awarded to the office of the chief of staff for the procurement of a brand new Lexus LX600 bulletproof sport utility vehicle for use in the pool of office of chief. That the sum of 7,475,000 was also awarded for the replacement of the liquid fragrance in the office of Mr. Governor, Lagos House Ikeja. Hmm. So the office of deputy governor was awarded the sum of 30 million naira for monthly outreach of indigent citizens by the wife of the deputy governor. Then another 30 million naira was awarded for monthly empowerment program of the wife of the deputy governor. The sum of 2 billion and 17 million 840,000 naira was awarded for the provision of supply items, rechargeable funds, um, rechargeable lights and fridge in the office of the deputy governor. He said the government also awarded the sum of 531,553,559 naira for the renovation of St. Andrew's Anglican Church, OK, Bokbo, Lagos. Ha. Now, now, wow. So all this money, taxpayers' money, look at what they're doing with it. All of these projects here did not make sense. I tell you, all these items here that have been enlisted as projects or procurement awarded by the state government to the office of the deputy governor, office of the deputy governor's wife, renovating the deputy gov the governor's office, and all of these, when you look at, they are all meaningless money. It's just money for sharing, obvious. Eh? Very obvious. Very obvious. Now, wow. So, what is Babajiri Sumolo trying to achieve doing all of this thing? And this is similar to what Tinubu is doing in Abuja for saying that 1.5 billion will go for the uh, buying of vehicles for the office of the first lady. What, what, so what is her portfolio? Eh? Or following through with the procurement of 5 billion naira worth of yacht, presidential yacht that uh, was purportedly started by Buari. So if Buari started a project that does not make sense, must you continue it? You shut it down. I know that it's difficult to shut certain contracts, but then pff, something can be done about it to manage it. 
at worst case you trade off some money and recover some money rather than selling the money out and still you are likely not going to use that project for anything good so what i see here is that Babajide Sowolo is spending taxpayers' money the way he wants between himself and the deputy governor just to make themselves feel good. That is exactly what this uh, presidential, I mean, the governorship candidate of ADC is trying to expose here. Hmm. Let's get into some comments. I know some people have reacted to some of this. I know some will be for and some will be against Sowolo for this kind of uh, project. Uh, somebody said Gov government by the thieves to the thieves and for the thieves. <laughs> uh, the, the day another party will take over Lagos, that is the day you will know the Lagos state has been pocketed. That is much you know. And I've been saying that today, you don't tea when they pocket Lagos. Please, free Sowolu, he learned from Tinubu, he is a good disciple. That is much you know. Yeah? Lagos government is very rich, but there is need to be prudent, sir. Is very rich, have been with taxpayers' money. No matter how rich the state is, the money does not belong to the to him, is taxpayers' money. How about two thousand broiler for eighteen million? Those beds must be larger than cow <laughs> in a state that will have no roads. That is it. Mister, I don't comment on social media, but have sat down to calculate how much each one will cost. It is my thousand per one. Check the market. I am not supporting government, but go for market survey and see for yourself. Nigeria is in trouble, like father, like son, and me look on. Oh, wow. So that is exactly what somebody saying there. So I would say this is what Obi frogs are waiting for in order to vomit their venoms. Their home is ruined already. They can't go home again. The fear. Uh, of unknown government, yet they have um, they have time uh, taking Panadol extra for another man's headache in Lagos. Now, wow. And somebody is telling them, without them, Lagos wouldn't.